What's up guys? It's the Rafter back here. I'm sorry I haven't been back lately with a video um, because I've been up to my teeth in college work so college has got the better of me so far but I am back just to bring you a video. I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me to do a step by step tutorial help on how to get your Xbox JTAG or GH on Xbox Live Stealth. And I'm just going to do a quick tutorial today to show you how to do it. Now, you'll need two things of these rimware files. Well, not really necessarily this one. This, this is XE Build. This is what you use to update your dashboard to 2.016767. Now, the great thing about this one is that it has um, Dash Launch built into it. So which means a lot, a lot of people that have been updating the dashboard the dash launch 3.3.12 isn't working so this one allows it to work and allows it to work perfectly basically and you need this for Xbox Lifestyle to work so this is the program here if you need help setting that up I will help you on Skype or AIM or message me and I'll do a tutorial on it Anyway, if you already got the new dashboard, great. You will download these files. They will be in the description below. Sorry about the camera, guys. It's pretty shitty, but... You will download these files. There's... You will not need... These two. You will not need to read me, sorry. You will need to launch that INI. You will need these three files. Okay. And these three files are going to go under the root of your hard drive. You can open up um, Freestyle, uh, sorry, Xbox 360 Neighborhood, or you can put it on through um, a USB stick. Now, these are already on my hard drive, as you can see down the end. To the other. Bam, 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 and launch. So you will copy these four files and drop them into your hard drive you will just click yes to all on that because they're already on it and um, yeah so you'll click yes to all and that's it you will exit all freestyle dash uh, if you're doing it through a USB you'll just copy it over to your um, your ACD and after that we're going to go over to the JTAG or your RGH What's up guys, just came over to the RGH there. Now, you just go to XEX menu. And when you're on, you're on XEX menu, go to your HDD. When you're on your HDD, you will see the files down the very end. You'll see your XRPC, XBL Stealth, and XBDM. That's your, that's just a plugin basically for your Xbox 360 neighborhood, and uh, if you ain't, if you haven't got it so far, get it. There's your launch that INI. Okay, after we do that, we will go up to Dash Launch. Go into Dash Launch. And as you can see, my plugins are working perfectly because I updated with the latest XE build. Okay, now. You will go to plugin one and X. Well, they should actually automatically put themselves as a plugin. When you put them onto your HCD, a lot, a lot of the time, these will automatically set themselves as a plugin. Um, Xbox Live Stealth, XBDM, and XORPC will automatically set themselves as a plugin. If they don't, just set them as a plugin the way they are. And you should be able to set them as a plugin. I'm not going to go through how to do it. We'll just go plug in one, and then it's already down the end. XDVM stealth, and you'll just do it the way I got it here. Okay, and when that's all done, and all of the plugins are done, just the way I have it, forget the last two, GA or PC and RPC. Don't worry about them two. You're only worried about these three at the top. Okay, when that's done, you'll exit out of this. 
and you will turn your JTAG or GH off. And that is done for the moment. That's your files on your JTAG or GH now. You will go to the Xbox Live Ninja website. I'll put the screw link to the description below. And when you're on the website, you will just go down, you'll go to home and you'll go on to the end. You'll have a few aim here. These are the administrators, these are the main people. You'll click on anyone you want. I'll just click on one just for to show you. Launch application. You'll brought your aim, that's me. And you'll just text them. It'll automatically come up. I want to purchase Xbox Live Stealth. You'll say I'll just text in. This you will text them this, hey I'd like to purchase Xbox Live Stealth for the first time. Send. Send. Okay, they will text you back, this guy is offline. They will text you back saying, um, yes, no problem. They will send you a link or a, a, a PayPal email. You'll want your PayPal and you will send the money through PayPal. And don't worry guys, these are completely safe. And then they will ask you for your CPU key once you pay it. You just paste your CPU key in there, give them your CPU key. And that is it. Once that is done, they will verify you on their servers. Now, if you haven't got a KV, these will sell you a KV. These guys sell you KVs too. If you haven't got a KV, they will sell you a KV. And what it will look like in... Sorry about that, guys. When they send you a KV, it will look like this. CPU KV. CPU that pin, KV that pin. That symbol. You will just go on to root your hard drive. I'm not connected now, but you'll just go onto the HCD, drag them two over, and just plonk them in there, and that's it. When you boot your um, dashboard or JTAG up, it will automatically restart itself, and that's your KV booting in. If you haven't got it, if your JTAG or GH is unbanned, don't worry about it. You already got an unbanned KV. So they will verify you on their servers when you... When that's all done, you will boot this up. And now I didn't purchase time, but your JTAG might freeze on this, freeze on the logo. Your JTAG might shut off. Either one of them two means you're not verified on the stealth. Don't worry, they will verify you. Just keep texting them saying, hey, I'm not verified yet. I paid for stealth. That's me logged in. Just say, hey, I'm not verified yet. I paid for stealth. Um, my time, there you go, XPL Ninja time has expired, please purchase more time, they will verify you on the server, um, yeah, and you will be online, you will just connect to Xbox Live, and there you go. If you need any help whatsoever guys, don't hesitate to text me in YouTube comments, I'll leave a description of my Skype and my aim below. If you need me to do a tutorial on how to update the latest dashboard, message me, hit me up, I'll do another tutorial. Again guys, thank you for watching, I hope this helped. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.